Hello everyone, welcome to lecture series of engineering graphics and design. Myself, I'm Kurt Patel, and today in the second session of isometric projections, we are going to draw isometric view of the object from the given orthographic views. So let's start with the first problem, or first object, in which we have a given different view of the side of the object, and we have to draw the isometric view from the given front view to offer the side view of the object. So here the orthographic projections of the objects are given. That means the front view, the top view and the side view of the object is given. So this will be a front view, this will be the top view and this will be a left hand side view. So by using this front view to offer the left hand side view, we have to draw the isometric view of this object. So the first and basic thing is we have to find out the length, width and height of the object. So uh, we will get the length and uh, height from the front view. But right now here the dimensions are not shown. So we will get the length from over here. So this will be the length of the object which is 60 mm. This will be the height of the object which is 60 mm again okay, 20 plus 20 plus 20. And this will be the width of the object which is 50 mm. This will be the 30 plus 20 which is 50 mm. So the length of the object is 60 height is 60 and width is 50 so this will also show the width width 20 plus 50 sorry 20 plus 30 50 and 50 length of this uh, this edge is 20 and this edge will be also in its 20 so the length of the object is 60 width is 50 and height is 60 so first of all if you want to draw the isometric view of this object we have to draw the cuboid or isometric view of the cuboid having length 60, width 50 and height 60. So let's start with the cuboid first of all having length 60, width 50 and height 60. So what I draw the baseline, draw the isometric axis in 10 and 30 degree on both sides and we will uh, draw uh, observe the front view from this direction. So on this axis we will get the length of the uh, cuboid or object on this axis we will get the width of the cube. So first of all show the length of the cube over here. So this is 60 mm, width of the cube over here which is 50 mm and height which is 60 mm perpendicular to the baseline from this point. Now from this point at this point draw lines parallel to this vertical line and I have get this 60 mm which will be as the height of the cube. Now connect this point to this point this way to this point, this will be the length and this will be the width 60, 50. Now from this point draw line parallel to this line and from this point draw line parallel to this line, we will get the intersection over here and this will be the cuboid having length 60, length 60, width 50, width 50 and height 60, height 60. Now, after drawing this cuboid, we will start with the object. So, right now, if we are observing the object, in the object we have two parts. This will be your first part. And the front view of this first part. This will be the top view of this first part. And this will be the left hand side view of this part. So, this will be your first part. And this will be your second part. So, the front view of the second part is over here. Top view will be this. And left hand side view of the second part will be this. So we will start with the front view or the, we will draw the first part in the front view over here. So let's try to draw the first part, this part in the front view. For that draw this line and then 60 mm. So start with the, this line and then 60 mm. Now show this edge over here. Now we have to draw these steps 20. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So for this way, we draw upwards 20 mm parallel to this line. On this point, uh, laser 20 mm in the right words parallel to this line. So we will reach over here. Now from this point, we have to go upwards 20 mm. 20 mm parallel to this edge. Now from this point we have to go up for second 20 mm parallel with this edge and connect this point and this point we will get this 
regarding the page only. Now in the left hand side we are to draw, we will uh, draw the second part of the object. So in the left hand side we will draw the second part and we will start with the second part. In the top we will also start with the second part. So let us try to draw the second part in the left hand side. In the front view we have got the first part, the part of the step. In the left hand side we will start with the second part. So try to draw the second part in the left hand side. For that, show this edge over here, 50 ml. This edge over here, exactly. Have a line 60 ml. Now we have to show this length or this width of this part, which is equal to 20 ml. You can measure it from, from here 20 ml. If we project this edge, we will get the or we will get the projection of this edge over here exactly. So the length of this edge will be equal to 20 ml. So now we have to draw this line having a 20 mm. Now we have to come downwards 40 mm parallel to this vertical edge. And it was 40 mm. Now connect this point to this point. We will get the left hand side of the second part. Now we have to draw the top view of the second part. So we will draw this shape or this face over here in the top plane. So starting with this edge it comes over here. Now this edge it comes over here. Now we have to draw this edge. For that we will take the projection from this point parallel to this line. We take the projection from this point parallel to this line. And from this point draw the projection parallel to this line. Here so we will get the top view of this second part. Now we have to draw the left hand side view and the top view of this first part. For that we will draw we will start from over here from this corner. So we will draw this part over here again. So for that we have to draw a line from this point parallel to this line having length of 20 mm. Now from this point we have to draw a vertical line having length 20 mm like this. Or connect this point first of all to show the top view of this part. So we will get the top view of this part. Now from this point draw a vertical line, connect this point to this point. We will get this part over here and we will get the front view of this box over here exactly. Now from this point draw a line parallel to this line having line 20 mm and from this point draw a line parallel to this line having length this much mm which is equal to 20 mm. Now connect this point to this point. So this will be a final isometric view of the object and then show all the dimensions 50. 50 width over here, 60 length and 60 height. Show this dimension 20, 20. So 20, 20, 20. This will be also 20, 20. This will be 30. And if you want to draw uh, the isometric projection of the object, we have to convert these dimensions into isometric dimensions. For that, we have to draw the isometric scale. So try to draw this object again by using the isometric lens of the object. Now let's try to draw the isometric view of one another problem or one another object in which the front view and top view are given and we have to draw the isometric view. So again we will use the actual dimensions of the object because we have to draw the isometric view. So this will be the front view of the object, this will be the top view of the object. So we we'll start with the isometric axis, so we start draw the baseline and from the baseline draw a line incline it to 30 degree. 30 degree on both sides. So these are our isometric axis. Now we will draw the front view from this direction. So on this axis we will mark the length and on this axis we will mark the width of the object. So here in this object we have two parts. One is this bottom part or we will say bottom plate. The top view of the this is this will be the front view of the bottom plate and this will be the top view of the bottom plate. And we have the second part over here. So this will be the front view of the second part and this will be the top view of the second part. So let us first of all try to draw the cuboid for the bottom plate. So the length of the bottom plate is 80 mm, height is 10 mm and width is 40 mm. So first of all let us draw the cuboid for the bottom plate having length 80, width 40 and height 10 mm. So mark the length over here, 80 mm width 40 mm and height 10 mm. 
Now from this point and this point, again draw the height parallel to this length and I can connect this point to this point, this point to this point. To this point. Now draw a line parallel to this line from this point. Draw a line parallel to this line from this point. Then we get the cuboid for the bottom plate. This will be my bottom plate. Now let us try to draw the cuboid for the second part, this part, which have a height of 30 mm, length of 40 plus 20 60 mm, and uh, width is 10 mm. So we get the width of this part from the top. So this will be the width of this second part which have a length of 60, height 30 and width 10. So we will draw the keyboard for the second part having length 60, uh, width 10 mm and height 30 mm. And this second part will be at the back side of this plate over here. So measure 10 mm over here and draw a line like this having length equal to 60 mm showing the length of this bottom part, sorry back side part and connect this point or draw a line parallel to this side of this point which will show us the width of this second part now from this point, this point and this point show the height of the second part having a 30 mm so draw lines from this point, this point and this point parallel to this vertical line or perpendicular to the edge line having a 30 mm showing the height of the second part connect this point to this point this point to this point this will be the length of the second part this part and this will be the width of the second part now draw a line parallel to this line from this point line parallel to this line from this point will be the cuboid for the second part now let's start with the first part or this bottom plate or with the top view of this bottom plate so we will draw the top view of this bottom plate starting from over here this edge connect this edge over here having length to 30 plus 10, 40 mm now this length so what will be this length? it is not given here so total length is 80 mm minus 30 so uh, remaining length will be 50 mm and we have to divide 50 mm into two parts this part and this part so this will be 25 and 25 so from this point draw a line 25 on this edge having a 25 mm on this edge now on this point we have to show this depth of this slot 10 mm we have to draw this line 30 mm parallel to this line in this direction show the depth of this slot again 10 mm 10 mm over here this length is 25 mm remaining length show this edge draw this edge over here exactly now connect this point to this point connect this point to this point will be the top view of this plate now in the front view you can see that the height of this plate is 10 mm so from each corner show the height or draw the height over here 10 mm 10 mm over here 10 mm 10 mm 10 mm 10 mm now we we'll connect this point to this point this point this point to this point this point to this point and from this corner draw a line parallel to this line so this will be the top view of this bottom plate. In the front view, it is seen as a. Uh, in the front view, it is most like three rectangles. One, two, three. So observing from this direction, we will get one, two, and three rectangles. And in the top view, it will look like this. So this will be the final isometric view of this bottom plate. Now we have to draw the isometric view of this part. So we will start with the front view of this second part starting from this edge height 30 mm this edge 40 mm over here now from this point from this point we have to connect this corner exactly to show this slant edge now the width of this uh, uh, second part is 10 mm so from this each point 1, 2 and 3 draw a line parallel to this line and then go 10 mm 1 2, 3. Connect this point to this point, this point to this point, we will get the final isometric view of this second part. So this will be our final isometric view of the object. At the end, mark all the 
dimension which are our actual dimensions because we have drawn the isometric rule and if you want to draw the isometric projections of this object then convert all these dimensions into isometric dimension by using the isometric scale so try to draw the isometric projections on this object by using the isometric dimensions so this is it for today thank you for watching see you in the next lecture till then take care